What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this freeze frame cutout transition. I thought it looked super creative, so that's what we're going to be going over in this video together. As you can see for the first time ever, I'm standing up on camera. That is because I am in my new apartment, so the lighting setup needs a lot of work, but trust me, I'm going to give you a beautiful image, but I think from now on I'm going to try to be like standing up. Apparently it's good for your health, so that's what we're going to do. For the rest of you guys that don't know me, my name is Gus. I sell editing packs, presets, and templates that make your job as a video editor super easy and give you outstanding results in a matter of a single click. So if that interests you, I'll have my website linked down in the description. I'm actually running my biggest and best sale of all time on there, which is my all-in-one bundle sale that allows you for a huge deal to get all of my editing packs and all of my future packs as well. So if that interests you, you can check it down in the description. I'll just get right into the tutorial. So this is the effect that we're going to recreate. I thought it looks super clean. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. First off, we're just going to label this second and then first. There we go. Now we're going to duplicate the first clip when it is at the last frame before it goes into the other clip. Let's do command D to duplicate. And then we're going to do right click time freeze frame and then we're gonna cut it again command shift d and put it on top and now as you can see now it's gonna be frozen just like this so now it's time for the actual sauce to create the actual freeze frame effect let's get right into this i'm gonna show you the easiest method usually people use the pen tool right but what we're gonna do instead is use the roto brush tool we're gonna make this a single frame long you'll understand all of this so we're gonna double click and we're actually gonna rotoscope one single frame. That way you're actually gonna get a clean roto without it taking so much time with the pen tool. So as you can see, this is way easier right here. You just go all over. And when we're done, we're just gonna freeze that one frame. Go back into the composition. And all, as you can see, if we try to only have that frame and then go to the other one, we're gonna lose the roto. So in order to preserve the roto, what we're gonna do is right click then we're gonna pre-compose it, freeze frame, make sure that these two are checked on, and then we're gonna go to time again and do freeze frame. Now, as you can see, it lasts for a long time, which is what we want. So now we got a single frame, but we gotta make it disappear out of the screen. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go. So with this effect, what really sells it is the fact that it's kind of like choppy. So we're gonna animate it every two frames. So go two frames further, command shift D, just cut it like that there you go and we're gonna do that a couple of times i think that is enough so the two first ones are just gonna be to like for the brain to understand okay there's a transition going and then we're gonna get into it so on the third one that's when we're gonna start the transition we're gonna grab the pen tool using g and then we want to cut off his head and just make a and just make a mask around it so as you can see it's going to cut off his head and then with this mask we're just going to make it we're just going to make it lower something like that there you go and then the other one we're going to do something similar so on and so forth this one i'm just going to do the pants i think i'm going to do one last one right here let's see what we have for now So that looks pretty cool so far, but we can size this up in so many ways. Let me show you. First off, for every frame, we're going to add a slight rotation. So press R to go into the property. Right here, we're going to do four. We go in the opposite ways for that one. So minus four. Then let's do like three. Then this minus five. This one, three. Minus two, two. And then minus one let's see what that gives us yeah that works that looks pretty cool so now we're gonna select all of these doing shift click and then right click pre-compose we're gonna call this subject but before we do anything else we need a sort of transition to go into the other scene I'm just going to go in my New Wave Effects B2 presets. If you don't have it, I'll link it down below. If you don't know about my New Wave Suite, basically New Wave V1 and New Wave V2 are all of the effects you need to emulate the New Wave aesthetic and all of the effects that are extremely like viral at the moment. So you have everything from trippy effects, 
grungy effects like hard hitting transitions like smooth transitions everything is drag and drop as well you just need to slide them on an adjustment layer let me show you how it works now we have these 30 super fire drag and drop presets i think i'm gonna go for something like swipe flash as you can see we can just drag it on just like this and boom you get this hard hitting swipe flash effect if we want something else we could add best shake that is one of my favorite ones we just drag it on there and boom just like that you get this super clean effect like these are so fire in my opinion i uh these will transform your videos i'm telling you yeah i think that looks pretty clean i think we're gonna go with that so once again if you want new wave effects v2 and want these packs i'll have everything down uh in the description now let's keep going i think we're gonna create a white outline behind so let's do command d we're gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna go and drag fill on the layer that is under we're gonna make the color white and increase the scale by a bit there we go and now we're gonna have this i think that looks super clean just like that now one thing we can add is a drop shadow as well so let's pre-compose this let's do let's call this before drop shadow and then let's do drop shadow, increase the distance a little, increase softness. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, that's so clean. Now the only thing that I think is missing, we're gonna make the background blurry when the transition is happening to really put like emphasis on uh, what we're actually focused on. So in the beginning, I'm gonna keyframe my blurriness to something like 70 and keyframe that and then when it is gone we're gonna put it back to zero that is so clean so that was it for today thank you so much for watching until the end if you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value please consider subscribing also if you're looking for some really fire editing packs i have some down below on my website make sure to check these out if you're trying to level up as a video editor and if you want to stand out from your peers now with that said i'll see you in the next one peace